First introduced in 1948 and running continuously, 2023 marks the 75th anniversary of the Ford F-Series pickup truck and is currently in its 14th generation. The F-150 raises the standard for all light-duty trucks. It targets the most towing and payload capacity of any light-duty full-size pickup, introduces all new features to increase customer productivity, and has new connected vehicle innovations such as over-the-air updates that help keep the F-150 at the forefront of purposeful technology and an all-new 3.5-liter power boost hybrid powertrain with ProPower on board, an integrated power generator. This all-new F-150 is also the most aerodynamic ever, new active grill shutters, new automatically deploying active air dams, and new cab and tailgate geometry all work together to reduce drag and improve fuel cons consumption on every truck. The 14th generation of F-150 is the newest and most recent, first introduced for the 2021 model year. While extensively redesigned with over 92% of its components completely changed, the truck took on a more evolutionary rather than revolutionary styling update. Available in several powertrain configurations, cab, wheelbase, and trim levels, there is an F-150 for just about everyone. Interestingly, customers will have a choice of 11 different grill styles, 13 different wheel designs, ranging from 17 to 22 inches. Our line topping F-150 Limited, as denoted by the American flag etched on the sides of the dash, is proudly built in the USA and was produced at the Dearborn Truck Plant in Dearborn, Michigan in May of 2023. Hey everyone, in today's detailed in-depth walk around look, we are taking a look at this brand new, very well equipped 2023 Ford F-150 Super Crew. Now this Super Crew is in the line topping limited package and as such it is absolutely well equipped. It is a very expensive vehicle as you'll see on the pricing. This F-150 is painted in White Star Tricoat Metallic. And it features the Admiral Blue and Slate Venetian Diamond Quilted Leather Interior. Full pricing is shown on screen and a full options list is in the description box below. And take note that this is the first new vehicle I've ever re reviewed that actually has an options credit rather than options uh, debits. So that's kind of interesting due to the nature of the climate, I guess. Anyway, this will be a full in-depth review. We're going to Go over everything from exterior to interior, mechanical, performance, and everything else in between. Our truck is four-wheel drive utilizing the electronic two-speed torque on demand transfer case with an electronic rear axle locker. This shift on the fly transfer case uses push button actuation and works in conjunction with the drive mode selector to automatically shift and pro to the proper settings. The 4x4 F-150 features a ground clearance of 9.4 inches with an approach angle of 24.3 degrees, a departure angle of 25.3 degrees, and a ramp breakover angle of 20 degrees. Power in our truck comes in the form of a power split hybrid system consisting of a 35 kilowatt electric motor generator sandwiched between the engine and the transmission. Tied together is a 1.5 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack under the bed. From a gasoline standpoint, we have a modified EcoBoost engine, with, which is a 3.5 liter power boost dual overhead cam 24 valve full hybrid V6 engine. This engine is of a castle aluminum block and head construction with twin turbochargers and intercoolers. The engine is of direct fuel injection with a 10.5 to 1 compression ratio, and in conjunction with the additional 47 horsepower and 70 pound feet of torque from the electric motor, the total power output is an incredible 430 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 570 pound feet of torque at 3,000 RPM. This allows the Limited to run 0 to 60 miles per hour in a scant 5.4 seconds and the quarter mile in 13.7 seconds at 101 miles per hour. Impressive for a truck. In addition, our truck comes equipped with a trailer tow package and comes with a class 4 receiver hitch, 4 and 7 pin wiring, tro pro trailer assist, all as standard. With a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,350 pounds, the truck has a curb weight of 5,025 pounds and can handle a maximum payload capacity of of 1,830 pounds and a towing capacity of a whopping 12,400 pounds. 
The Power Boost F-150 is coming equipped with a gigantic 30.6 U.S. gallon fuel capacity, and they consume 4.3 gallons per 100 miles driven, with an estimated total driving range of a whopping 704 miles. EPA fuel economy in the city, on the highway, and a combined average all equate to the same 23 miles per gallon. The transmission on our truck is a slightly modified version of Ford's in-house electronically controlled 10-speed 10R80 select shift automatic with manual shift control and software calibrated specifically for truck use, including drive modes like tow haul mode to help customers better manage tow heavy, towing heavy trailers. I walk around the rear of the F-150 as you'll see in bright detail. You do see the uh, LED light in the uh, tailgate handle. But as you can see, the Limited does have that stainless steel or satin aluminum trim piece there to denote it as a Limited. Alrighty, around the rear of the F-150 Limited, not much really is different from it separating from the uh, rest of the lineup with the save for the, um, the brushed aluminum trim there. This truck, this particular truck does not have a bed liner, but as you can see, it does have the bed protective caps on the rails moving down we do have led tail lamps full led light pipes all the way down the perimeter we also have amber elements here the blind spot sensors here and reverse lamps and perimeter lighting down on the bumper we do have ultrasonic parking sensors for all the corners and the brushed aluminum trim here that actually denotes it being a limited we've also got this smaller f-150 badge here and then over on the right hand side we do have the Ford logo. Down here in the bumper we do have the trailer towing pro, uh, group and we do also have four and seven pin wiring here. Four pin here, seven pin there and we've also got the lock here. You can put a trailer lock in there which is really nice to have and also works in conjunction with the uh, pro trailer assist program. Up in the tailgate here, we do have a couple of, we have a light here, camera here, and your tailgate release here. It is a power opening tailgate. And down below, we do have a bright finished stainless steel exhaust pipe. And as we walk along the profile of the truck, as you can see, it looks like a truck. Five and a half foot bed, super crew cab configuration, the only way you can get a limited. It does have power deploying running boards. Not really sure why the passenger side isn't deploying or retracting. So overall, just a very nice truck. Oh, there it goes. Just a very nice truck. Steering is electrically assisted vehicle speed sensitive variable rate rack and pinion with a 47.8 foot turning radius. Wheels are the limited only 22 by 8.5 inch multi-spoke polished aluminum shot in 275-50 R22 general grabber HTS 60 all season tires. Brakes are four-wheel anti-lock brakes assisted by advanced track electronic full-speed traction control, working in conjunction with Ford's RSC roll stability control. Integrated trailer brake control, trailer sway control, and pedestrian detection with stop modes, just name a few. The brakes consist of 13.8-inch ventilated rotors front and rear with electronic parking brake and can halt the F-150 from 70 miles per hour to zero and 203 feet. All right, walking around the front of the truck, as you can see, it does look a lot different from the other F-150s due to the limited badging and the large grill treatment as we walk around the front of the f-150 limited it is an absolutely gorgeous truck it looks phenomenal in this white star tricoat metallic paint it does have a lot of satin aluminum trim mirrors here of course are power folding mirrors they do have led repeaters here and cameras here for your 360 degree camera view down here on the fender badge, we do have the F-150 Limited here with an inlet here. It's a false vent, but... And then down here on the door, we do have the Power Boost logo. As we move down the hood, as you can see, a sharply creased hood line with a lot of character lines in it, which is possible due to the aluminum structure. And here we do have a uh, large headlamp complex here. Have this big, large light pipe here, amber side indicators, dual LED projector beam headlamps. You have the amber indicator here, turn indicator down below, LED fog lamps lower down. And of course we still have our ultrasonic front parking sensors. We do have chrome plated tow recovery hooks. This huge satin aluminum grill absolutely looks amazing on this truck. Large Ford logo. You have a front facing camera here. And of course 
we have the limited badging on the hood. All right, and of course, this truck has remote start as standard equipment and operation is very simple. First, we need to just lock the vehicle, then double press the remote start button on the key fob. Due to the fact that this truck is a power boost hybrid electric vehicle, the engine may not start right away simply because the batteries have enough charge in them. So it does precondition the interior, but the batteries only have so much charge, so the engine will kick on eventually. All right, before we get inside the vehicle, let's take a look at the remote. Just a standard F-150 or a Ford key fob, just has a standard Ford logo here and a, a array of buttons here. Unlock, lock, remote start, tailgate release, and your panic button. Kind of wish that the uh, Limiteds had their own key fob, but you know, that's all right. Now it is Ford's Intelligent Key Smart Key Access System, and this actually does feature the, uh, the approach unlock, as you can see, I'm approaching the vehicle. The running boards are power deploying. So by keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, it will automatically lock and unlock for you. Now, manually, you can also lock and unlock the vehicle. You do have Ford's uh, keyless entry keypad here. By entering a four digit pin number that you set, you can lock and unlock the vehicle doors here. That's been in, in a Ford thing for a long, long time. Or you can use the little black button here on the door handle. Pressing that button will lock the vehicle. It'll flash the lights and lock the vehicle and uh, retract the running boards and if you want to enter the vehicle just grab the handle as you'd open it power running boards deploy and we are greeted to one of the nicest truck interiors i think i have ever seen admiral blue the light slate venetian leather absolutely looks absolutely amazing if i could use the word absolutely anymore i would it's a really nice uh, dye to the Admiral Blue leather here. Uh, it has almost a rustic look to it. it. has accent stitching, accent piping along the door cards. And we do have this matte light blue finished carbon fiber trim. Just a quick look at the door panels here. They are fitted just like you would expect in a luxury vehicle. Nice padded armrest. This graphite finish here. Your door pulls are in here. And we do have three driver memory with our lock and unlock. We also have our mirror controls here, window lockout, auto one touch up and down for the front uh, two passengers and power windows for the rear. We do have the premium Bang & Olufsen b and Unleashed sound system. It has these really nice stainless steel laser perforated grills. Map pocket up here, more map storage down here, bottle holder and odds and ends here. And over here on the A-pillar, we do have our blind spot indicator. Little American flag here. This truck is actually built in Detroit. We do have some uh, features here. We do have the mirror spotlights here, tailgate release, cargo lamp, fuel door release, automatic light control with fog lamps, instrument panel brightness and dim, uh, electric parking brake, and we have our power adjustable pedals that save with memory. We've also got the same with the power adjusting tilt and telescoping steering column. That will also save with your memory. Looking down at the driver's footwell, I do not have the limited mats in place, but they have the same uh, mat pattern or stitch pattern as the seats do. We do also have a brushed aluminum illuminated tread plate. Eight-way power driver and passenger seat with adjustable lumbar supports. And let's take a look at these seats in detail. They are very nice. They are very comfortable, very supportive. Part of the B&O Unleashed sound system means that your headrest is perforated. You have the little B&O logo here, and you have speakers in your headrest. Admiral Blue with a limited badge here. And down here, there are two-tone, uh, the, the slate gray here with the diamond quilting. They are heated and ventilated seats, and they are very comfortable. Now, these are not the max recline seats. That was actually part of the credit. But as you can see, very nice seats anyway. All right, now that we're inside, let's pan through the interior and show more details. As you can see here, we do have the uh, Admiral Blue leather on the steering wheel. And part of the uh, credits is the steering wheel heat delete, which is really sad that the steering wheel isn't heated in a truck of this price point. But as you can see, we also have the silver Ford logo that's reserved usually for the platinum models, but the Limited also gets it. 
We've also got a ton of multifunction controls here. We have our cruise controls. Now this does have the intelligent uh, dynamic cruise control, which is just basically a uh, very smart uh, automatic cruise control. So your power button here, set, uh, accelerate and deaccelerate, resume, cancel, uh, follow distance and your lane departure there. And then of course we have audio controls and Bluetooth controls. Down here in the lower spokes, we do have more of that blue carbon fiber trim with the limited logo here. And then over here, we do have our multifunction trip computer controls, which controls the full LCD driver information display with menu, up and down change, okay, and back menu here. More of the phone controls and audio controls, seek scan, and our phone. Over here, we do have a multifunction control for our wiper washers and our turn signals and flash to pass. Full LCD instrument cluster. It does change upon changing your drive modes. Right now, we're just in eco. And if you hit the menu button here, you can go through several different menus here. Just a lot of different menus there, and you can actually see a sped up version um, as we're talking right now. We'll just put that up on screen just so you can kind of see all the different menus. All right, let's paint over the top of the dash. More of the uh, B&O speakers here in the A-pillar, also down at the base of the dash. You do also have a center array there. And the whole dash top is actually in a really nice uh, high quality vinyl. Looks like leather, it's also stitched. Nice little storage tray up here. And that leather goes all the way across the width of the dash. And as we come down, you'll see this gigantic uh, Sync 4 touchscreen display here. And um, we'll go over some of the array of buttons up here. Right here is just our Pro Power onboard generator power switch, our camera view, and our advanced parking. Also, we have a uh, four-way flashers and our traction control. This does have Ford's Blue Cruise, I believe, so you'll see these little red uh, LEDs lighting here. You don't see that in person, but the camera can see it. Um, I think that's just to make sure your eyes are straightforward. Anyway, here we are with the uh, large touchscreen display. Right now it's in navigation. Of course, it also supports Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto. We have audio controls here, AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth phone controls. You can do favorite menus, different apps, um, settings for the sync screen and all that kind of stuff, personal profiles, vehicle settings, all that kind of stuff, display. Um, I'm not sure if these actually have the active motion but I don't think they do. Here in features is a lot of our neat stuff. So we got driver assistance, um, which basically shows like auto cruise control, auto hold, like you can set all of this stuff here. Running boards, um, you can do approach detection, always active, all that kind of stuff. Pro power on board will show your, um, your power generation. So it does have an onboard generator and does use the, uh, lithium-ion battery packs for a 7.2 kilowatt uh, pro power thing and then uh, we can turn off generator mode because we don't need that I'll just take up our power here and zone lighting uh, lights up all of the different zones so you can do you can choose different zones here or you can do all and it just turns on all your perimeter lighting uh, towing and onboard scales show what your payload, what you know, your payload scales here. Tells you exactly how uh, close you are to getting to your max. You have a smart hitch system. And show your power flow. Right now we're just on battery. And of course your owner's manual. Also, by placing the vehicle in reverse, I know it's going a long time now, but placing the vehicle in reverse does show reverse camera. You do have active guidance lines. You've also got an overview, a 360 degree top down view, and it'll show your, your displays here as well. All right, moving down, uh, let's go over here. We have the pro trailer backup assist here. Helps you steer the trailer, push button start, trailer brake control four-wheel drive selector switch and your drive mode selector knob push that button to lock your rear transfer case or your rear axle and then of course over here we have redundant controls for radio you also have your controls for your um, 
climate controls, panel distribution, three levels of automatic control, max AC, heated and ventilated uh, front driver and passenger seats, and your fan speed control here. It's also a dual zone control, so your driver and passenger can do their own. Over here, the circuit breaker switch for the 120 volt, 20 amp household style AC outlet here. And underneath this carbon fiber door, we have two USB ports, USB type A and type C, wireless charging pad, and assorted storage. Over here, we do have dual front cup holders, small little storage tray. We do have our shifter here. It is capped in Admiral Blue with the light slate accent stitching and aluminum trim. By pressing this button, we can actually fold that shift lever down, not while you're driving, so don't get any ideas. And we can flip the center console lid over to provide a nice flat work surface. Center console is padded in the same admirable, admiral blue leather with accent stitching. Does have the limited badge. Open up the console, reveal a enormous cavern of storage in here and a slideable tray and removable tray. So inside the F-150 Limited is a Rolls Royce of trucks to be said. It is a very nice vehicle, very well equipped and very well finished. On the driver's side sun visor, all the sun visors and, and headliner are this uh, Miko Dynamica suede material. So it's not that standard cloth that you get. You do have a three channel home link universal garage door opener. Sunglasses holder is here. This button here controls your power sliding rear window. You also have individual map lights here. Just LED map lights. Blue accent uh, lighting here. Power moonroof controls. It's a panorama sunroof, so you have shade and your glass control here. Automatic dimming rear view mirror. And taking a quick look at the sun visors here. Nice large sun visors, illuminated vanity mirrors. Sun visors do swing out, and of course they slide out on extension rails. In addition, you also have high adjustable seat belts, speakers in the headliner, and assist handles in the A-pillar. All right, let's take a look at the rear seat now. Let's go open up that door. Of course, the writing boards deploy for the rear seat passengers as well and rear seat passengers are treated to the almost exact same seats as the front seat passengers are. As well as their door panel. The door panel is just as nice and just as uh, luxurious as the front doors. Same blue, slate gray, padded armrest, graphite trim, door poles here, power window switch, carbon fiber, bottle holder or cup holder here upside. Two levels of storage here, small storage map here. Large storage map pocket here, another bottle holder, and the same stainless steel B&O speaker grill. Taking a quick look at the seats back here. 60-40 split folding seats, high adjustable head restraints on all passenger seating areas, of course, three point belts as well. It is the same admirable, admiral blue with the slate Venetian diamond quilted leather. You also have the limited badges here. You do have a fold down center armrest right here. Integrated cup holders, overhead coat hooks, reading lights, assist handles, seat back map pockets, rear seat cup holders, rear seat positional air vents. The seats back here are just heated for the outboard seats only. We do have a 120 volt um, AC outlet. You could put like a cigar lighter in there or you could put like a, an adapter. Moving down, we do have two USB ports and a 120 volt AC outlet here. USB type A and type C. And take note, this truck has a completely flat load floor. No transmission tunnel on this truck. There's a seat back map pockets here. And to lift the seats, you just lift them up like this. And it does have this nice divider storage tray here. This can actually be collapsed as well to make a load flat floor through here.
All right, there are three ways to get into the tailgate. First way, by pressing this button here on the driver's side instrument panel, that'll uh, release the tailgate for you. The other way is just by putting your hand up in the uh, this area here, what looks like a tailgate handle, there's a membrane switch. Just press that and the tailgate will release. And the other way you can do that is by simply pressing the tailgate release button on the key fob twice and that will release the tailgate. All right, now the tailgate's released, let's check out the bed. Five and a half foot bed. No bed liner in this vehicle. It does have the uh, box link system here. So these four black uh, cleats here inside the uh, cab, there's actually little individual things you can put in there to help you know maintain cargo a little bit better. You've also got a ton of tie down hooks in here as well, drain plugs, this little button here actually activates your LED box lighting and your cargo lighting up top. So you have full perimeter lighting down here. By pressing that again, of course, it'll um, it'll fade out. All right, I'm going to put the box dimensions on screen here so you can kind of see what you're looking at. Quick look at the tailgate here. As you can see, you have this big, huge work surface here. Nice flat work surface. You do have a couple of uh, yardsticks here in inches and centimeters. A little cup holder here. Um, you've also got these little, they have like a, what looks like a clamp. If you stick your clamps in here, you can actually clamp it down to the bed itself. Uh, like if you're cutting wood or something like that. And then of course we'll demonstrate the, uh, the step here, tailgate step. Alrighty, another really cool feature, especially because this has the power boost motor, we do have the 7.2 kilowatt onboard pro power generator here. So we, these right here are just your circuit breakers and your power switch. So A and B is controlled by this here, and then these are both A and B individually. So if this trips, you have to trip both these breakers. This is just your power switch here, it turns everything on. So this one here is a 240 volt, 30 amp, uh, 7.2 kilowatt max so it looks like a dryer plug and then these right here are just 120 volt 20 amps just household style ac outlets on both sides it's also important to note these right here are just lights so they illuminate when these are open you can see what you're looking at and there's just a little um on screen i put on a uh, little banner that shows kind of the what you can do with this it's actually really cool it's a very uh a very handy feature All right, so that is the bed. We'll go ahead and lift up that, or raise the tailgate. It is power closing as well, which is really convenient. All right, and that does conclude our in-depth walk around look at the 2023 Ford F-150 Limited. We hope you found the review informative, and if you did, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews. And of course, our Instagram channel at brinsoj one And of course, as always, thanks for watching.